test. So if you guys remember what we talked about last class period, the main important thing when we are adding or subtracting is identifying common denominators. So the common denominator here is x minus 5 times x plus 5. It's just going to be the product of our denominators. And with polynomials, Alexis, that's mainly going to be the same case. You're just going to multiply your two denominators to find a common denominator. Because polynomials is hard enough. With numbers, it's easy. The common denominator of 6 and 3 is 18, right? Or actually, 6 and, eight, six and 3 is 6, right? Of 9 and 2, though, is 18. So with, common denom with numbers, it's, it's, um, it sometimes becomes difficult. But with polynomials, you actually just find the product, and that's going to be a common denominator. Um, so then what we do is we multiply by our factor, or by a factor that's going to produce our common denominator. All right? So now I simply need to multiply this on the left-hand side. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we need to apply FOIL. So you need to mark, make sure you multiply everything by everything. Also, you guys should know this is a binomial times a bi or binomial squared, which is going to produce a perfect square trinomial, which is x squared plus 10x plus 25. Minus here, I need to apply distributive property, which is 3x. Um, I'm sorry. Negative 3, right? That's a negative 3. Times x, which is a negative 3x. And then that's a negative 3 times negative 5, which is a positive 15. And that's all over my common factor, x plus 5 times x minus 5. Now, basically what I'm going to do is combine my like terms. So my final answer is x squared plus 7x um, plus 40 divided by x plus 5 times x minus 5. Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, you can multiply also your denominator, which would be x squared, excuse me, minus 25. And we're also going to want to write in our constraints x cannot equal 5 and x cannot equal positive 5. And that's it.